The reason why you open this video? You must be like me. You just can't afford the exorbitant prices out there. You want to know about the Fodacy 1.7? This is a crystal clear lens. It really works in low light. This is the 35mm CCTV lens. Look how big it is, or how small it is actually. Sitting beside my uh, kit lens, this is a 14 to 45 millimeter, which is small in itself. It makes the Fodacy look tiny, doesn't it? Look at the monster on the right, my uh, Mitagon 80 to 200 that I bought for $35 on eBay. I also use that on my GH4. Back to the Fodacy 1.7. It may be small, but it packs a powerful punch. It almost looks like a joke, doesn't it? But if you think that it works like a joke, then the joke's on you. It covers the range from 1.7 to f16. The bottom ring controls the aperture, and the top ring, that is the ring closer to the front, controls the focus. Now, this is the adapter that came with the lens. Of course, I had to o order the appropriate lens for my camera, which in this case is the Panasonic GH4. This is a screw mount lens, and with this combination, I now have a sharp lens for video. The sample I have is pretty good in my opinion. This is Artie. I don't know about you, but that looks like excellent clarity to me. Now the microphone in the background is in rack focus, uh, bokeh if you will. Then I focus on the microphone with Artie out of focus. Then back to Artie in focus again. Now keep in mind that this lens is all manual, there's no electronics. This is my camera, the Panasonic GH4. Now I haven't gravitated to the GH5 yet. I know, I can't afford that either. What I did was purchase the Atomo Shogun, which is an external recorder which provides 10-bit 422 resolution. If it only cost me 500 bucks, I could afford that. And the results are quite impressive, as you saw from the footage of our friend Artie. Okay guys, give me a thumbs up. Come on, I've never done a video like this before. You haven't seen any video like this before with me, have you? Come on man, give me a thumbs up. 